Ladies and gentlemen, we're still right here at this event, the Vincent Kiwala Nyambi Foundation. This is a charity event, so for those of you who are not here this year, please, you have to make it next year. In short, if you're watching this interview, next year tell your entire friend, your family to come out, because we have one of the co-founders of this, this uh, organization, Mrs. Nyambi herself, and she's looking so lovely, please. She's definitely representing for these children. How are you doing, Miss Nyambi? I'm doing great, I'm doing great. Thank you so much, thank you. No problem, I love the hair. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank it you. It adds a lot of, it adds some more height, so it makes me even shorter. <laughs> <laughs> I know, they call it the goddess do. Love it. Well, you're looking quite lovely. Thank you, thank you. So thank you so much for having me for this event, it's really nice. Yeah, we appreciate you guys for coming out to support us, you know, because, you know, as you know, the media is one way that we can get the word out about the Vincent Kewala Nyambi Foundation, about the awareness of HIV and AIDS. So we really appreciate you guys, you know, taking the initiative to come, you know, partner with us for this event. Well, you guys are doing quite an awesome job. But in a nutshell, just give us a little bit of insight about the foundation from your perspective. Oh, the foundation, actually, we started some nine years ago because, as you know, HIV and AIDS is something that has been around for over 25 years and it's causing a lot of havoc upon millions of millions of people, including children. So we started this about nine years ago to, to assist, to rehabilitate and empower children often by HIV and AIDS. And our mission is simple, an AIDS-free generation. And our objective is just to continue to give uh, the children an opportunity to have a future to look forward to and to continue to mobilize resources like doing a fundraiser like this, to, to uh, mobilize resources to help us to continue to fight this global uh, deadly epidemic that is wrecking so much havoc in the community with the aim at making sure that there's, uh, uh, there's zero HIV related death, zero uh, discrimination, zero um, <laughs> just lost my daughter. No, it's all but, right. Yeah, okay, so, so these children, um, from my understanding, you sponsor them through school. Yes, we do. We do. We, we sponsor them to school, uh, through school. We also offer, we, we also uh, give them like, we clothe them, we feed them. Uh, we also send them through vocational training. Yes. And we actually have some of them that have actually graduated from the, from uh, vocational training and right now just are waiting uh, for the equipment to be able to set up shop for themselves and also start doing their own business. So, you know, we're really happy that, awesome. you know, we're doing, we're doing, we're giving back to the community. That's, yes. that's yes. the best way to do it. Yes. So this seems like it's something close to your heart. Oh yes, definitely. I'm very passionate about this, very passionate about this, this course, because I think that it's very important that we give back to the community, because I personally I feel that we all have been called to serve. I, I think that that's our life purpose. It's very important that we use who we are, what we have, to be able to continue to elevate other people that cannot, you know, cannot help themselves. So what exactly are you expecting from this event tonight? Uh, tonight we're just trying to have people come together to continue to help us, to continue to, to donate so that we can, because there's so many kids that, that are out there that really need our help. Right now we only have 52, 54 orphans that we take care of, but there are millions of millions of children out there. And, and uh, right now we, we're mostly based in Bamenda, which is in Cameroon, West Africa. And we're looking at expanding, you know, globally, not just in Cameroon, but in other African countries as well. When you look into the eyes of these children, when you look into the eyes yes. of them, of the, the glory that they feel after what you've done, how do you feel? No, I, I feel so happy because, you know, when I look into their eyes and I see the happiness and I see the, 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 the change that the foundation has brought into their life, you know, and also the, some of the testimony that they give, how this foundation has affected them, you know, I'm really pleased with the results, you know. And I also feel pleased that at least we're doing something back for the, for the glory of God. And I believe that, you know, when, when you take care of the least of his people, he also take care of you. Well, thank you so much. You're quite a role model. Thank you so much. You're lovely. And I hope a lot of these kids will pick up after you and pick up your footsteps and even do better. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that. This organization is based out in Cameroon. Um, who are you? What other places are you reaching out for, for help? Besides just our Cameroonian community or besides Cameroon alone, what, what other area are you extending to get some more help to help these children? We also um, look into supporting research because I think it's very important that we continue to 
for, they could not to do some advancement in terms of the kind of medication that they can get to help these children. Like you can see right now, uh, the mother to, to child transmission is almost totally eradicated. And I believe that with continuous diagnosis and treatment, there's no reason why any child should be born with HIV no dies from AIDS. So I think that's very important that we we'll also focus on, on research. Thank you. Do you extend to the hospitals as well? Yes, we also do. We also Because right now, part of the process that we're going to get from this, we're actually looking at taking a medical mission to Cameroon. And part of it is also to go to like hospitals and stuff. So even children that are not directly under our care will also benefit from this. Yeah. Yeah, that's quite, that's awesome. I could go on and on with questions because it's so interesting, but I know you're needed out there in the, in the, on, the, on the ground floor here. So I'm going to let you go ahead and maybe I'll catch up with you again a little later to kind of get your feel on how the event is going. But just one quick question. What exactly do you expect at the end of this event? What do you expect to see or hope to see at the end of this event? Well, what I actually hope to see is that more people can be inspired by this and might also join to support us, become ambassadors. They can also maybe start to stuff like this to also help and give back. Because as I said earlier, I think it's very important that we use our life because I think that's our purpose. We've been called. That's why we're here on this earth to be able to give back, to help, to help other people. So I think that, you know, from this, after, after this night, others are inspired to do the same. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Ms. Marceline Nyambi, the co-founder of the Vincent Kewala Nyambi Foundation. She's doing an excellent job, and I hope after this event, and some of you watch this, you actually are inspired, as she says, to reach out and see how you can help. What do you say? Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for all your support. No problem. It's our pleasure. Well, let me let her go. Let me let her. Let, let me let her shrug her stuff. I want you to see, just shrug your stuff on the red carpet for me here. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, look at that dress. Look at that dress. Oh, I'm coming to your closet. Honestly, <laughs> thank you so much. You look lovely. Thank you. Thank you.